This is Jonas from the Dell EMC Solution Center. Today we will talk about uh, Python and how to set it up to uh, do Redfish. Um, I have um, prepared a, an environment in here uh, in a container using, uh, using LXC. Um, you can disregard that, to be honest, because uh, it's just a way for me to uh, show you a fresh environment uh, with nothing in it. So um, when you start out, if you have nothing installed, in this case I don't even have Python, uh, as you can see. Uh, we need to start by installing that. I'm running this on Ubuntu, on Trusty, and um, I'm just going to update the uh, repositories. Speeding this up a little bit, as you can probably see, because I have a slow network connection. And um, once we're done with this, we are going to install a uh, few packages. Uh, first of all, Python, obviously. We also ins install the Python development packages. Um, and uh, we go ahead and set up the, um, the setup tools and then also the, uh, the main development uh, tools so we can uh, build stuff on, uh, on Linux. So uh, we do that install. I'm going to speed this one up as well so we don't have to wait for it to finish. And once we have this done, we are going to start to install the modules uh, for Python to make sure that it works properly. Uh, with Redfish, we have some requirements in there that has to be met. So if we check Python now, you'll see that it will be um, version, uh, I think it's 2.7.6. And it is. So um, then we're going to use easy install, and then we install pip. And after we have pip installed, we are going to use that, use pip, to then install the modules for Python that we require. The modules in this case are simple JSON and uh, requests, which are both required. And once you have that installed, you are essentially ready. Uh, then you should be able to do the um, the API access that, that is required for Redfish. So we'll try this just to make sure that it works uh, with a, uh, a little script. I've copied over the scripts now that we've used uh, in previous white papers. I've updated them a little bit, uh, make them a little bit more, more interesting. And um, let's see, we can get the power usage or power state. Let's see. Yeah, let's get the power usage script. And um, as you can see in here, if you open it up and look at it, um, all we do really is to, um, to pull some information from the server. And uh, let's just kick that off. See if um, it uh, it actually works. We provide the IP address of the IDRAC, the username and the password, and that returns results uh, as expected. So there you go. That's all that was required to get started with Redfish. Um, and uh, I wish you luck with uh, your environments.